Hey everybody, it's Akisha 1981. Uh, today is Tuesday, February the 4th. It is day two. I'm just about halfway through uh, my three day military diet. Y'all, I'm thinking if I wouldn't have been doing my smoothies and salads and eating um, very little for the last few weeks on my smoothie diet, that this, I would have been and gave up on this. For breakfast, I had a piece of dry wheat toast. I had boiled the egg, sliced it up, put a little salt pepper on it, a little hot sauce, and stuck it on that toast. I was supposed to eat half a banana, but I have these big, juicy bananas. And if I eat half now and half later, it'll be all brown and nasty looking. So, I try to hold off on my banana. I just ate it a, a minute ago. I threw a nice chunk of it out the window because it was brown. I hate those brown spots. But my the what I'm doing, there's a list online um, of substitutions. I'm going to put it in the link below. There's a list of substitutions you can eat in case you don't like cottage cheese like me. It looks disgusting. I don't want to eat it. Uh, so I substituted the cottage cheese, one cup of cottage cheese. The substitution is one slice of cheddar cheese. Uh, with the five saltine crackers that's going to be my lunch and I'm trying to spread it out and also save it I'm not sure if the military diet works because you only eat this amount of food throughout the day or you have to eat it all together for breakfast together at lunch together for dinner but we're soon going to find out because I'm eating everything on the list I have substituted the um, the cottage cheese for the cheddar cheese and yesterday, I le I'm leaving off the ice cream because I'm making my meals. I eat my breakfast at home, but my lunch and dinner at work. I'm a truck driver, so can't have ice cream. And, you know, can't put it in a baggie or in a bowl or something at home and expect it to still be ice cream by the time I eat dinner several hours later. So, I'm skipping out on the ice cream. And I'm also doing a workout. Last night, I did a 10-minute uh, power walk and run on my treadmill. And I did 100 crunches, so... I'm really trying to lose this 10 pounds in three days, and I'm hoping that it's all. I'm hoping that the weight loss is because of what you eat for, uh, throughout the day and not eating it all together. Because the grapefruit, I hate grapefruit. I did eat half a grapefruit yesterday, but I ate a fruit pit, a few pieces for breakfast, and I ate uh, some of it around lunchtime too when I was getting ready to eat my uh, lunch. But uh, I'm spreading it out because I don't want to break this and uh, get hungry and be like, fuck this, I'm going to eat a burger or something, you know. Or I'm going to go and grab me a big salad or, you know, whatever. So I'm eating the stuff on the um, on the meal plan, except the vanilla ice cream. I'm not eating that. Even though I bought it, I'm not home to eat it. And I'm not going to stop and buy some ice cream. That's a waste of money. And I don't want to because... I hate plain ice cream. I need to add some candy or some shit to it, but I'm hoping that it works because of what you eat throughout the day and not grouping the food together. Because some some stuff is like eat these in conjunction and it does this to your body. It burns the fat, you know, um, gives you energy and do this. That's why you need to eat it in conjunction at these certain times of day. I'm hoping this isn't like that. I'm gonna Google online to see why the military diet works. I don't. I'm hoping it's just because of the calorie intake. And not because you eat these foods in conjunction with each other at these, you know, points in time for breakfast when you wake up, middle of your day, and then when you go to sleep. But, um, y'all, I'm about halfway through day two. I'm about to, um, in about an hour, because I'm trying to spread out breakfast, lunch, and then I had breakfast at about 11.45 when I got up, got ready for work before I left the house. Um, I had a banana about 15, 20 minutes ago about half a banana. I'm not going to have a banana for dinner because I don't have another one and I'm not going to have the ice cream. So when I get home this evening after I eat my dinner uh, I should be home about an hour or so after I eat my dinner I'm going to eat like half a banana then. I don't want to eat no ice cream because I'm trying to take away you know some calories and that, that's probably what a hundred calories or so and I'm going to get on my treadmill again because I really want to lose this because my uh, balance time deadline is next Friday and I need to be at my 195 or I'm going to be pissed <laughs> at myself but I'm going to make it I know I am because I'm doing this and I'm going to flip right back to my smoothies come Thursday 
because I'm only doing this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, I'm going back to my smoothies. And then I may do this again if I lose at least five pounds. Really, if I lose at least six pounds doing this military diet, I'm going to do it again next week. If I don't, then I'm just going to stick to my smoothies. And I'm going to be doing my workout. And I'm going to up my cardio. But, y'all, I'm halfway through. Just about. Uh, earlier today, I didn't get on the scale because I'm trying to leave the scale alone. I'm not going to weigh in on Wednesday. I'm going to weigh in on Thursday to see if the military diet worked. Because I was about 205 when I started this military diet, the 3-day diet plan. So, on Thursday when I weigh in, I'm going to see how much I done lost. And uh, when I started, I was in a tight 16. Now, I'm, I can get into a, a tight 13. My stretch pants are 13 is snug. So, I'd be, I'm more like a, a comfortable 14, tight 13. Which is good because I am dropping the inches. So, um, y'all, I think I'm going to reach my goal. And I do believe that I'm going to be down to where I want to be. The size, at least the size because I'm dropping the inches by June 1st. I think I'm going to beat that like by a month. I'm thinking May, you know, beginning of May, end of April that I'll be there. But my goal June 1st in case I have a relapse, which I seriously doubt. But I might start taking later on. I might start taking some days where I'm like, okay, I can, uh, you know, have me some Dr. Pepper tin or um, I want to have me, uh, you know, a bowl of ice cream or something like that. So, but right now, none of that. Because I'm going to start incorporating regular foods uh, later on. Mainly some soups. I've been having a taste for some good soup. But I'm, I'm leaving that alone. I'm just sticking to my fruits and vegetables and salads and stuff right now. But. Y'all, I'm going to do it. Y'all will see on Thursday morning when I weigh in if this military diet works for me. If it does, I'll be doing it again next week. So, y'all, stay tuned. If y'all have any comments or questions, uh, leave me a message. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Akeisha1981. I have pictures, updates of my coupon and my weight loss journey, exercise routines, all that good stuff. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.